call on me. You can call on me. You can you can call on me. You can call on me. You can call on me. Oh yeah, this beat hot. Oh yeah, this beat hot. You can call on me. You said what? I said glasses on so we know it's real. Oh, glasses on so you know it's real. What's going on? God damn. We got homies in the building. Big homie Kodak. Big homie Yagas. Yes, sir. How you feeling? You good? I'm just happy to be here, Kodak. You know that by now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> happy to be here. Happy to be here. That's your politically correct. God damn it. Say <laughs> I just, I mean, yeah, really you think. answer like a goddamn football player. You know, we just, you know, we're, we're not there and, and, and it, educated to play, executed to plays. <laughs> just, you know, give glory to God. God yeah, damn. Nah, I, no, shut up. How you feeling? I'm good, man. You know, so, I took some shrooms, y'all, before I got here. They're not wearing off, but I'm at, I'm at my peak right now. You got a peak. I feel good. Cool. Let's get it. <laughs> let's have a conversation. So, what, 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 what did we talk about earlier that was real interesting? What's on your mind, first of all? Shit. Fuck, fuck niggas. I don't know. What's Actually, up? What? What's up? With, what make a nigga a fuck nigga? What makes him a fuck nigga? How he act. How he treat women. You're supposed to be nice to women. Like, it's just a common courtesy-ass thing. It's, everybody knows you're supposed to be nice to women. So why would you choose just to be rude to women for no reason? I just feel like fuck niggas ain't got nothing better to do. Or like, just be a gentleman. I don't know. Be a fucking gentleman. Be a fucking gentleman. You telling me to be a lady. <laughs> like, shit. So... Uh, a fuck nigga is somebody who's not being nice to you. What if you're not worthy of being... What if you're not being... Ni- what if you're not worthy of being nice to at the moment? Is he still a fuck nigga? I mean, no, no. <laughs> it all depends on how you act. I will say that. Because some... I don't want to say some folks deserve it. But, like, if you just... If I'm being nice to you, you just being rude. Like, girl, okay, at this point, fuck you. <laughs> now, I see why everybody call you a bitch. And I'm going to treat you like that. Okay, cool. But You be, you be treating me like bitches? Yeah. Come on. Come on. What <laughs> what what warrants a man being treated like that? Like a bitch? Yeah. Why are you acting like a woman if you don't want to be treated like a woman? What is acting like a woman? Cause uh, I'm glad I'm glad you said that. Cause a lot of times y'all be saying shit like that and it's like damn, so oh you arguing with a female. Uh, are, are women not worth arguing with? If you wrong, I'm gonna tell you what? Kodak, you argue with women? Hold on, what you said? No, answer the question. Kodak. Answer the question first. <laughs> answer the question. Are women worth being argued with? No, like if you are a man arguing with a woman, like I could tell you about a hundred other things you could do besides argue with me right now. Like, first of all, go build a house, pour a drink, get some whiskey, fucking get out my face. If anything, like, so if you wrong, a nigga can't tell you wrong. A nigga can tell me I'm wrong, but why are we going back and forth? Just shut the fuck up. Don't go back and forth. Shut, shut the fuck up. So, okay. That is the option. Shut okay. the fuck up. You're right. But as a woman. Why, if you as a man telling me shut the fuck up, why am I not shutting the fuck up? Because I don't respect you. Because you acting like a bitch. Because you going back and forth with me, which takes me back to so. So basically, I should have just ignored your humanity from the jump and just told you to shut the fuck up. No, but I'm saying, like, okay, I don't like to argue in general. You know what I'm saying? Because I just don't feel like, if you're arguing... I don't be arguing. I be telling folks they fucking wrong. Yes, you could be wrong, but like, bro, after I get it off my chest and I see you not here on my side, at least, or you don't understand where I'm coming from or you don't want to... I'm not gonna keep explaining why I'm right and you wrong. You got it. Cool. And I feel like every man should be like that because a woman will, well, most women will argue you down. Like they wanna be right. They wanna like, you know what I'm saying? So let her have it. What does it do for you to be right as a man when you arguing with a woman? What does that do for you? You gonna get your dick sucked after? I might. If you just got done arguing with me and then you end up being right, you think somebody's gonna suck your dick? Why not? <laughs> You should, uh, you no. should, you should uh, award that nigga for teaching you something. No, he taught Not you something. You argue with me if you could calmly in a polite manner. Okay, so that's what it you was. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't think a man should argue with a woman. We're not going back and forth. Got you. Because now I feel like I'm arguing with a bitch, and so, now I'm gonna call you a bitch, and now we got a bigger. Issue. So, if you, so if you're talking to a dude and he arguing with you, that's a. T- I'm not arguing with no man. I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna start right. There. What do you think? Of, what do you think? A woman's place in a relationship is. I feel like you might have an interesting one. It depends on it depends on what your role is in society and what that man do. So, like me personally, what's your what you mean? Like what the woman's role is in society? I do, yeah. So, like, if I'm like a a Beyonce, I'm on go, or like I'm a touring personality out and all the time. I would want a man that I don't want to say takes the woman's role, but takes more control of the house and has some kind of stability. Somebody got to be stable. 
So, so you want a house husband? I don't. I don't want a house husband. I would like to be a housewife. <laughs> but you said like if you're the Beyonce, you. But out- that's what I'm saying. So like in that situation, you know what I'm saying? She could be a little bit more masculine. He could be. A little, I don't want to say more feminine, but like take care of the house. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like keep shit stable. I feel like you can be a house husband. Like niggas here, house husband, women here, house husband, and they think, oh, this nigga at home wearing the maid and shit. Like he wearing the goddamn no, the, the maid you outfit. Know what I'm hey, you maid. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I see you in your little maid outfit. Yeah, like you think, oh, oh, oh how, how was work, darling? <laughs> your dinner's ready. Nah, nigga, you be at the crib taking care of business. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure the house clean. Make sure it's full when I come home. Like you ain't gotta really for sure. Too much. But like, I feel like as a a woman's place in a relationship is is whatever the fuck she want it to be. But just make sure it makes sense for y'all. A lot of folks do shit that don't make sense for them, and they be mad it don't work. Out. Well, a lot of people are trying to gauge their relationships off of shit that they see on social media now. Like, they stupid. Like well, they don't want to be happy for real. They just want to look it. Yeah. So I at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what that, really matters? I mean, I feel like that's, that's that's another reason why you see so many women talk about how many times niggas done proposed to them. Mm-hmm. Like you got you got twenty five proposals and zero marriages. That's not a winning record, baby. But why do niggas propose and you know? Like I, I'm gonna it's a it's a hail mary, it's a hail mary. He in the doghouse. He trying to what you what a, 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 a marry me. Well, then that's a stupid nigga. Niggas do that though. But like. Why? Because then you just gonna end up being miserable. You didn't really want to marry that girl. He was just trying to keep it straight. He probably did. He probably didn't want to do it just then. I don't understand. Like, why would you do something that don't make you happy? Is my question. Like, I'm because I think that women are a little bit more selfish in relationships to that extent. Because, what you mean? Because we're gonna do what makes us happy at the end of the day. Like, I know personally. Are you personally me? If a nigga is not doing something right, I'm going to go find it in another nigga. If you not eating my pussy right, but you finger good, okay, cool. I'm going to stay here. You can finger me. And then I'm going to go get my pussy ate. If you're doing everything right, there's no need for me to go nowhere else. So, like. <laughs> Wait a minute. So, are you talking about, like, a dude you're in a relationship with? I don't, I've never been in a relationship. Let's put that out there. Okay. Because I know myself. <laughs> and I don't really. Yeah. But if I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Like, I'm going to keep my pussy here as long as you're doing what you're doing. Okay, so, but <laughs> if he's not doing everything that you need that need to be done. I'm going to somewhere else. Like, if he, if, he not, if he not a good stroker, but he a good muncher. Thanks. So, I'm a. <laughs> Who you, which one of them you locked in with, though? The, I'm locked in with a good dick every time. Nah, I'm not even going to hold you. Good dick is word. Wow. <laughs> <I'm gonna> <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. So, nigga, we do everything right, but his meat game isn't up to par. The meat show isn't isn't showing. Then just, you know. Just he doing everything else right, though. Let's just, and you know, I've had this conversation before, which is fucking crazy. But I just, uh, like, like, I'm not going to be happy. I'm not. I'm sorry. Because then, I mean, if you if you are okay with me fucking somebody else and coming back, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm just saying. But Who's I, gonna be okay with that? That's what I'm saying. So so either step it up or be okay with me leaving. So you gotta step up step up his dick game. Yeah, or, 100%. So a nigga can lose you to a, a, another dick, basically. He doing his damnedest. He fighting for his fucking life out there, trying to make sure you happy. As of right okay, because because what's important to me right now is my happiness. I don't want a relationship. I would mm. say that. So for me to be happy, he gotta treat me right, A. I have to feel comfortable with you, and then the dick gotta be good. What are you looking for, like right now, today? Like, what would make what would make you happy? What would make I'm not happy? saying like for one person, but like in general, your list of shit that make like Christmas list, like you know, oh, shit that make, make you happy. I mean, like, I'm simple to, or, or just in general, I just like when shit is easy, free flowing. Like, I like to go to the park. I like to do simple shit. Like, we can literally be kicked up in the house all day just talking to each other. Uh-huh. I've done that with a nigga before. Like, the TV was on in the background. We didn't even watch it for 12 hours because we were just talking. And that's fine. He was ordering Uber Eats. Like, in the meantime, between time, we got fried chicken from Gus's. And then later on, we had got some cookies from Crumble Cookie and some shit. So, like, he'll Uber Eats. And hey, where he at now? Okay. He lives in New York. <laughs> oh, okay. Who fumbled who? Uh, nobody fumbled. Actually, that's my baby. Shout out to you. So, he can, get, he, he can get you back anytime? It's, I'm not I didn't go anywhere Oh okay <laughs> Oh see I still locked in <laughs> Oh yeah 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 Y'all be having phone sex Yeah Bro oh my god I, <laughs> I, I, th- I had phone sex for the first time Like 
a few weeks ago, like a few days ago. I actually Fro- just posted about it on my TikTok. Phone says the reason why I ain't got no kids. Bro, and I thought it was going to be lame. Like, you know what I'm saying? What are you wearing? Okay, like, nah, we got FaceTime. Like, me and that nigga was literally looking at each other come. Like, that shit, that is fucking fire. Now, all the time? No. Nah. <laughs> Cause now, nah, cause I'm now I'm trying now I'm trying to feel that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to feel that and thing. Now I'm out of the limit because I ain't seen him in a month. And I told him, so we got an agreement. <laughs> you seem like you got a high sex drive. It depends on who I'm with. But you just said you never had a relationship. Yeah. So who you with? That nigga. <laughs> oh, the nigga in New York? Yeah. Are y'all we, not, we not okay, so our agreement is You sound like a nigga right now. I know, and it's bad, ain't damn. Fuck it. <laughs> hey man. Fuck it, let's do it. Nah, because our agreement is we both don't want a relationship. He's older than me. He like forty two. Damn, nigga. Don't, don't Damn. Do that. <laughs> Yo, how old are you? How would I look at it? I give you twenty two. Twenty three. This yeah. nigga's nineteen years older than you. Go on. Yeah, that's my baby though. <laughs> that's my baby. But nah, like he don't want a relationship because he works on movie sets. Is this nigga named Robert? Oh. <laughs> Robert, <laughs> Robert, <laughs> this thing is. <laughs> Where? How long we out? Wait, how long we out talking? Um, since July. Okay, so this is fairly new. Yeah. Why do Why do young girls like older niggas so so much, man? Where do I start? <laughs> Where do I start? Why? Why? Because the thing is, I'm not gonna drain a man's pockets. <sighs> That's my age. Like, I know what you're going through because I'm going through the same thing. So, for me to want you to take me out all the time and just show me the world. Or that's not, I don't think that's draining pockets. I mean, I, like, if you got it, okay, cool. You know where you like where you like to eat? <laughs> Everywhere. I like good food. I'm not going to talk. You I'm said not going to say STK, uh, motherfucking <laughs> tight bitch all the time. I, we can go to the corner store and get some real good food. We can go get some Chinese food. But, like, I'm... I like to go out. Women like to spend money. So I like to be comfortable wherever I'm going. I don't want to have to worry about if you could order an Uber or like if I'm ordering too many drinks. Okay, I got you. I I, I, I see what you're saying. Because when I was in college. That's what I'm saying. So like it's like a kind of one date and then you can come back to the house. I took a bit. I took a bitch to a walk on a promenade at Clark. (laughs) (laughs) That was the date. You took a bitch on a promenade date? uh, Promenade date. Kodak. It was bad, boy. I was bad. Kodak. You Can't put t- that bitch. No, if for y'all that don't know what the promenade is, it's literally a brick fucking Strip. street. Up Strip. And, down. and I stayed all the way down by the by the stadium. Yeah. And I think she had went to Spelman, so she just met me at the gate. You ain't shit, boy. I wasn't, bro. I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad, boy. I'm sorry to that lady. <laughs> but I mean, I feel like some niggas is, is my age still probably doing that shit. It's niggas that that's be cool with walk dates. Like, and a walk date is cool if you got good dick and some money. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll, if at the end of the day, you know, you done did everything else, it's like, hey, let's just go for a walk. That's cool. But if the whole date is a walk, get me out of the ghetto. <laughs> what the fuck am I here? I don't even want no coochie after a walk date. She musty. <laughs> ah, damn. How do y'all think y'all it's sweaty. After y'all after basketball? And y'all be wanting to straight put it in. Do, do it look like I play basketball? Do it look like I play? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, nigga, no. Oh, shit. Absolutely not. Well, I mean, goddamn it, after a day of anything, yeah, <laughs> you don't gym workouts. So okay, I got it. Nigga, eat my pussy after a double shift, no shower. Where, where was you working? I, I was a server. I was on my feet for twelve plus hours, and he invited me over to his house. That bitch set me up, so that's he got what he deserved. Um, but regardless, it was it was funky. No, nah, don't do that to me. <laughs> it was very much so, and I worked twelve hour shift plus. Some niggas be liking that though. Dude. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not yeah. some niggas. And then sometimes that should be hit. I don't like no hairy ass box. Really? You ain't old enough for me. <laughs> like them. That's why a- I like them a- old ass niggas. A A R P niggas. <gasps> Get a you like discount, boy. Jerry, you like them geriatric niggas, huh? Oh no, fuck no. <laughs> Oldest I've dated was like sixty. But I Yo, <laughs> you just gonna bad. slip that out? Oh, that was. <laughs> when was this? <laughs> Shout out Yusuf, bro. This nigga know. name was Yusuf. Yeah, he sure was Middle Eastern, <laughs> Turkish, Turkish. I met him. He's from East. Turkey. Yeah, I met him. No Thanksgiving, Christmas. boy. So you, you, 
long. And you know what? His youngest kid was two. Nigga was 60. His youngest kid just popped out the pussy to you. Yo, how old were you when this happened? I was 22, I think, or 21. 22. Yeah. This nigga was 60. Yeah, bro, you should have seen the looks. Like, I, I've always dated older men, but, like, that, that was different. Wait a minute. The experience was amazing. Like, I would do it again. It's fun. I, I don't I don't get it. I You're don't a lot of places in these conversations. I know. I don't get it though. Like, okay, the thing is, I don't want to fuck him. He probably do want to fuck me. But he gets the enjoyment of I did see that on your I did see that on your story. You <laughs> was like, oh that oh then they're oh yeah, I just wanna I wanna blow on her butt. Uh, <laughs> I, I wanna blow on her butt. I know she like them grandmas, she like them grandpas though. And I didn't want to believe it, but damn it, here we are. <laughs> I'm too young for you. Shit. Fucking facts. Oh, sorry. But like, you know, they just they know how to show a woman a good time. Nigga, they got 60 years of experience. Exactly. So why the fuck I'm gonna take a man that don't really know how to that didn't have a father to teach them how to treat a woman, their mother, and they just raised by, I don't want to say it, but a bitter woman their whole life. And then you want wow. me, a happy go lucky bitch. And you just want to so like, wait. So if a if a dude raised by a single mother, that's a red flag for you. No, it's not a red flag. However, how you treat women and and act in certain things because it's a lot that I've learned from having a father. How to treat men, how to get in line with certain shit, and you know. What so I'm what did your what did your father teach you? Damn, what didn't that man teach me? Shout out to you. I love you, for L Daddy. Um, if he's watching this boy, he's had a roller coaster of a. <laughs> People never see this. That man does not do any kind of. <laughs> he is straight. Read the Quran. I am Muslim. I read the Quran and pray and make some money. And go to sleep. Gotcha. That man is really like a, a family guy. So I fuck with him. Um, he taught me how other men should treat me, which is like the most important thing. Mm-hmm. I'm his fucking princess. Um, he also taught me just kind of like how to to follow a man's lead. Like. I don't know how to explain it, but just having him there is kind of like, dang, okay, this is how you're supposed to act when a man that's actually providing and doing what he's supposed to do, this is how you're supposed to follow suit. And blah, blah, blah. So he yeah. just taught me how like how to interact conversations and shit like that, you know? Got you. It's just, I like him. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know, if I, if you like it, I love it. Yeah. But damn, nigga, 60? Yeah. Yeah, and he was older than my daddy. My daddy like 50 something. <laughs> but no, because, okay, listen. I met him. I was already like, a, I think, a, not an hour late, something like 30 minutes late to our date. But he was standing outside waiting for me. We went to see us. And so he knew some folks there, got us a cute little table. He got us like the extra real big, like nice hookah that got the ice and the, the ice hold and whatever the fuck else. And he had a whole bottle of wine waiting. Mm-hmm. It was like, it was like a real nice, like, I said, hold on. I don't want to date, date, shut the fuck up. But then we went to like Red Martini after that. When I tell you, you know, in the front, they got that glass so you could be on like the porch. Bro, the stairs was like, what are you doing? I was like, shut up. Just, <laughs> they were like, you here for the money? Stop. We didn't even get there yet. Like, fuck. Wait, so who said that? The the people that was walking by looking at us. Like, we were sitting outside and he was trying to kiss on me and hug up on me and shit like that. I was so like, you look like a sugar baby. I did. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> I was I couldn't even be mad at it. <laughs> so would you, would you. In lieu of a relationship, would you what would you rather have a sugar baby relationship or like an actual real relationship? Right now, sugar baby. Sugar baby. Yeah, because I don't want to take the time to really have to care about a man's feelings and emotions. Yikes! And That's what I'm saying. So I'm I know myself enough to not have a relationship because I'm not gonna give a fuck for real. Do you want a relationship? Like, do you care about marriage and shit? Yes and no. Like, if it just so happens to be the right person, okay, cool. Yeah, but I I ain't forcing nothing. Mm. I've heard a lot of women say that recently Like oh we don't care about, why, why don't women care about marriage as much anymore Because I, like From a standpoint of <laughs> Strictly courts Right It's just saying that we're legally bonded together I agree I don't really want to be legally bonded to somebody For the rest of life Like if I don't really know about you mm-hmm. I don't know how to explain it but it's just kind of like Well I mean if, the, if you get married I would, I would think you know about them a little I bit I mean yeah but how much do you really know a person? It depends on how, uh, how we, exactly. we talking. How long you've been together. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, and are you trying to be in a relationship for 15, 10, 5 years, however long it takes you to think you know this person before you get married, or would you just ride it out until it don't work no more? Again, I agree with you. I feel like marriage is 100% paperwork. Facts. It's 100% paperwork. Unless we have, like, if we're going into business together, I could see the point of getting married. 
But Wait, like, what? If like if we have like an actual business that we made together, I can see the point of getting married because then that legal paperwork, everything. If anything happens, okay, cool, everything's already filed up to where we get fifty fifty this 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 and this. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's like just a like a contract for real. So you, like a marriage contract for the business. <laughs> That's the only way I would do it because we already got this shit built together. Let's just get married, make it all legal. If anything happens, eh. you know. Yeah. Better than that. I can see that. I can see that. Now I gotta uh, return to a question we talked about earlier. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, let me see how much time I get. Uh, 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 tap that. All right, cool. We good. So, facts or cap? Yes, sir. If a man is on the same level as a woman, oh God, <laughs> she. I told you, was bringing it back. <laughs> I told we had to talk about this. Facts or cap? If a man is on the same level as a woman, she sees. Him as beneath her. Yes. Because I'm So not you said facts? Fucking facts. Facts, okay. Big facts. <laughs> like, what? Because if, look, I've had situations where, you know, especially working in a restaurant, niggas always be trying to fuck with you. Like, bro, you are the dishwasher. You're the head chef. Essentially, your paycheck ain't nothing but a few dollars more than what I make. Mm. I, like, I'm not really trying to, and then I don't really want to be stuck in that energy. Like, if you, we working in the same place, like. There's no, I don't think there's any growth there. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> if we're working for somebody in the same place, there's there's no room for growth. Well, what about what he has outside of that spot? Mm-hmm. Like, what if he's like have, working his move? Like, that's just his day job. Nigga rapping at night. <laughs> oh fuck no, <laughs> <laughs> bitch! I'd rather date the dishwasher. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> A rapping ass nigga, you really like, rap? F F R. B F F R, B fucking for real. Yes, I'm not dating a rapper. <laughs> Why? Cause them niggas suck. Like rappers are the equivalent of football players to me in like the entertainment industry. How? They fuck niggas. Oh, <laughs> rap- the, the rappers are just the fuck nigga football players of the entertainment industry. So that's a rapper hurt your feelings. <laughs> At a certain point. At a certain point. But that's that's a, not why. That's not. <laughs> that's not the full thing. Because I'm not. Well, I would date a rapper because I don't want a relationship. But women that date rappers wanting monogamous relationships, you're dumb. You set yourself up to have your feelings hurt. Mm. I knew that was never an option. But anyways, back to the dating man. <laughs> I just think like a, a man has to have some kind of for me authority over me for me to like listen to him. And actually trust what he's saying. Like, if you're working in the same job as me, what have you really learned more than I have? Like, because we're kind of in the same place. We kind of, like, on the same track. Like, you're not, I'm a, how would I put it? I'm a student. I like to learn. Mm-hmm. So if we're in the same place, how much more can you teach me? Like, really. So, like, we're kind of at a cap here. Yeah. But if you have are in a job where you're in, I don't know, entertainment or you're an entrepreneur doing something else, it's a lot of stuff that you could teach me because I haven't learned that yet. Yeah. We're in the same place. We already learned the same shit. So, so what else? You trying to be a rapper outside of washing dishes and fucking a desk job or some shit. Like, mm. <laughs> I hate you. You know what I'm saying? I hate you. Or then it'd be like, job, and then it'd be the niggas that, and I don't even want to hurt, say nothing about nine to five niggas because... It's a lifestyle, bro. At least I know. Wait, after hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. At least I'm after five o'clock. I don't know where you could be at. So, you, I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad. Thing. Okay, so I like a nigga with a nine to five because I know at six o'clock I could come and see you. Uh huh. A nigga that's like an entrepreneur, like nigga I fuck with now, he trains folks, so it's like sometimes his whole day will be free, and then other times he'll have like a ten a.m., a twelve, and like a six p.m. Mm-hmm. So it's like okay, I could fill in the gaps, but it's like we can't go out. Of, you know, like, you, so I you know, like the consistency? I like the consistency of the job, yeah. but I don't. If unless you're working in like tech or something, what you gonna teach me? Damn, it's a cold world. It is. Yeah. <laughs> so a nigga, so a nigga also like if he got his own business, like you said entrepreneur. That's cool. Yeah, I mean it's cool. I think if you are trying to make money. You're good. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> if you just down on your dick and you just trying to fuck me to have a place to stay, yeah, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I don't want that kind of energy. Yeah. Bruh, and that dick be good. That I need a place to stay. I ain't got nothing else going for Have me. you housed a nigga off that before? Oh, fuck no. Oh, okay. I've never had a man sleep in my bed. That shit not happening. 
What? That's a lot. That's a lot of energy exchange. Like, that's a lot, bro. I always go over to nigga houses. You can't come over to my shit. <laughs> oh, you gonna drop your energy off over there? Yeah, cause I usually got good energy. Like, I'm not the bitch that's gonna come in with a negative anything. Like, I usually come in and start some kind of conversations. Bitches be awkward. They be just sitting down doing weird shit. I'm like, nah, bro. What you do today? What is this? <laughs> like, I come in just asking questions, just touching shit, huh? <laughs> Like a bad, I get comfortable anywhere quickly, so I don't be. At least I know I'm bringing good energy into where you stay. I ain't no miserable bitch. Yeah. You know. Okay. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> I got another facts of cap question for you, right? Okay. So you believe in like women having a roster? Oh yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Before I go into that, <laughs> before I go into that, I got a question. So you said you don't like up and coming rappers, right? Oh no. no! Don't you got a vlog? <laughs> All right, where are we going? What's the <laughs> difference? What's the difference between a woman starting her YouTube with TikTok career and a nigga trying to rap? Oh man! Because why are you like a woman can be an influencer from an infant all the way to age forty? It don't matter what you do. That lady, mama, or the one that be cooking now, she got she's like a vegan. Tabitha. Yeah, yeah. Bro. She's she fine. It took her a while for to get there though. It fine. took her, it took her a while, and her husband was holding her down while she was cool. thirty something working on being an influencer how, career. How many forty year old rapper men are successful? Shit, not including two chain. Uh, All right, I don't so know how many women over forty can successfully make a career out. of Nah, it ain't too many Tabithas, man. It ain't too many Tabithas, but it could be. She, you ain't got to cook to be, you know. And you mean? ain't got to rap to be a, a rapper. You can be a writer. You. Can, you can be a producer. See, you didn't say that. You but, uh, but 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 the niggas they gotta learn their role because everybody can't be future. <laughs> All them niggas can't. They well, want to be. Try and be future. <laughs> oh, here you go. Here you go. I ain't gonna start no shit today. Please. <laughs> nah, nah. But all them niggas, like, they got to know they roll, and they yeah, got to be comfortable with not being the main nigga. But nigga, everybody want to be the main nigga, even when they know they weren't built like that. And that's what pissed me off. Like, nigga, you know you are meant to be in the background. You know you meant to run, run to the fucking store. Like, shut up and just play your role, and then nobody will make fun of you for it. You know you a star. Are you, gonna, are you, are you giving a nigga that's a store runner a chance? Uh, Exactly. So he know to be but, okay. to get what he want. He gotta be something else. Let's put it like this. Maybe if I was like eighteen, um, well, nah. <laughs> I still want the big homie at eighteen. <laughs> but still, bro, like everybody want the big homie. As long as you, <laughs> they know. Uh, as long as you're yourself, I fuck with you. Like I don't fuck with a lame nigga. I do like being lame nigga from time to time. Why? Because he's himself, bro. Like at least he's not trying to be cool. Or trying to be hood Or trying to be something He thought was cool Like you just You like playing video games In your room You know what You a cool little nigga Yeah <laughs> But nah Now you trying to act like You wasn't raised in the suburbs You just born in the hood Your whole life Like I Trench baby Like I have dated niggas That will come and rob you <laughs> So please Like let's Relax Let's just play our role And Okay You know what I'm saying So <laughs> To sum it up <laughs> A woman start her YouTube career and a nigga that's starting his SoundCloud career doing the same thing. But again, a woman gonna look down at a nigga. Because, bro, how the fuck are you trying to be a rapper at, like, 26? Why are you trying to start a TikTok career and doing these dumbass routines at, at 20? Because anything. A rapper is stuck in that one set thing. Like, if you want to be a rapper, you rap. If I want to do something on TikTok, like, do you know how many TikTok accounts I made where folks don't even connect the two? I have one where I talk my shit. I got one where I do hair. I got one where I just like talk about myself and vlogs and shit like that. And they all pop off. So it's like how I many how many TikTok how many followers you got on each of them? Um, on my hair one, I got like fifteen k, almost sixteen k. Um, on my talking shit one, I'm almost at sixty k. On the other one, I just started that bitch, so it's like under a hundred. Uh huh. Still, like it's different it, avenues. It's going up, huh? Off. Exactly. So if any one of them pop off at any given moment, I'm good. But you just gotta rap. Like somebody gotta fuck with what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Okay. All right. I just wanted to clear that up before we move on. Uh, <laughs> Set me up. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. Uh, all right. So my next question is. Uh-huh. Say something again. Bing bong. There you go. All right. Cool. <laughs> so my next question is. Uh-huh. You 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 cool with women having a roster, right? Oh fuck yeah. How many how many how many people on your roster right now? As of right now, I am 
Just one. <laughs> I like you. You lie a lot. <laughs> anyway, facts of cap. Okay. Facts of cap. The rich dude on the roster is in the worst position. Mm-hmm. You said a rich dude? The rich dude on the roster. That's probably a fact because you, you paying for everybody else. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you. I'm glad you admitted it. Cause if it's a rich, if it's any rich nigga on the roster, he getting the same Bro, coochie that the nigga that's not giving nothing getting. Sometimes they're not even really giving coochies. That's BFFR. Wow. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of niggas that I just have made my munch. Like you can't get, and not even like you can't get no pussy. It's just like I don't think that you. Usually, niggas that give good head don't have good dick. It's a what? I'm st- uh, da, 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 I've da, heard da. that before, Cause, and I'm personally offended. I mean, it's every once in a while, okay, but like if, if you take an average and all them niggas at your pussy, good as fuck, probably like three of them fuck good, maybe, <laughs> and one of them is really giving you the whole wham bam thank you ma'am experience. So <laughs> I'm just <laughs> yeah, that rich nigga paying for everybody else, and then I didn't had a nigga. A lot of rich niggas are lame. So you could really take them for a ride, bro. Like, they will. <laughs> niggas will pay for two meals. So, like, they'll let you eat. And then they'll be like, nah, I don't take that to go order another meal. I'll be like, oh, my God. And they'll be like, take two, get two. Da, da, da. Straighten them out. I'm not fucking you. Thank you for the good day. I'm going to go to that nigga that ain't shit. I got a plate for you. <laughs> wow. So I forgot. You've done that before? You you a seisty motherfucker. <laughs> so you went on a date with one dude. Yeah. Got them, got his shit. Yeah. And took it to another dude. Yeah. Scandalous behavior. That's scandalous. I mean, if that w- if that one nigga was doing everything right, I would have stayed there. You said you want to take me on a date. Thank you for the date. I appreciate you. We could do this at a later time. So do you? Okay. So <laughs> all right. So say you. Say you. Say you in a um. A situation to where you talking to somebody, they haven't openly expressed that they they're interested in you, but they just doing a whole bunch of I'm interested in you type shit. Nice. Making a whole bunch of I'm interested in you type statements. Yeah. Are you gonna continue receiving that nice behavior? Not if you know it's not if it's if it's, if it's not required, like you're not And I see where you're going with this, and I know in my heart of hearts to be a good person, I should probably not. But if you're not going to communicate how you really feel to me, why should I communicate how I really feel to you? I agree. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, at the end of the day, because I've done this to a girl before. Like, she liked me a lot. And I was just trying to kind of see, like. Oh, you bad? Uh, I wouldn't. No. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> what? The best way to put it, I just be doing shit, bro. I just be doing shit. Oh, you pan. Uh, no. You have a sex with pans, pansexual. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop before I get canceled. Shut up, no, for real. No, but I just be doing shit. I just, you know, why not date a girl? I like the the more masculine ones though. So like, who eat coochie better? Uh, I, I, uh, I actually haven't had a girl with no pussy. Well, like, yeah, it, um, it wasn't really like a I'm laying on my back getting the full experience from a girl eating my coochie. Like it was kind of like, oh, it's. So how? how it, what? <laughs> I'm trying to say something without saying something for real. God, like, let me have it. <laughs> I'm t- we was just playing around. <laughs> Let's just say that. But it wasn't the full experience. Oh, you was just fake. You know what I'm saying? It, okay. So all right. I, I couldn't really say who was better. If I, but if I really wanted to get a stud started, I would definitely tell her that a nigga eat coochie better. Just, it, oh, I'm about to show you. Uh, literally. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And then they'll probably buy me something after. <laughs> Oh wow! Studs are, studs are better tricks than men. That's the only tip I'm gonna give you, ladies, right now. Bro. Why? I'm gonna keep it where it's at. Why you think that? Women spend money way more frequently. If you get a rich man that likes to spend money on you, he really likes you. Uh huh. Especially if he ain't got no kids, no family, no nothing. Like he really fuck with you heavy because that man don't have to. Wait, why is a nigga with the kids and family spending money on you anyway? Because he's a cheater. You entertain cheaters. <laughs> I um, yeah. Oh. I don't. Do you do you feel do you feel like 
like if you know if you know a nigga in a, in a relationship, do you feel like any type of responsibility to like to the woman to be like? Let's put it like this: if it's a boyfriend girlfriend thing, I I don't want to say that you're not in a real relationship, but like you're just boyfriend girlfriend. That shit could come and go today, tomorrow. Y'all can be mad at each other. Whatever. I would not actively try and date a man knowing that he has a girlfriend. Like that shit don't turn me on. I'm not a, I don't really like competition. And not even saying like, how would I put it? And not saying competition like, oh, weak I'm pussy. <laughs> the pussy's weak. Can't you fight. know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Can't fight that. I, no, I can't fight. <laughs> I'm saying. I'm I, saying you gotta show, you gotta show them whose pussy is the best. No, Let's have a squirt that's off. That's not something I really want to do because it's a nigga that's single, that's the exact same profile as you, just with no bitch. So mm. I'm gonna go find him. Okay. He's probably standing right next to you. It's probably your friend. Wow. So <laughs> I'ma just fuck with your friend. Cool. But like mm, if I actively see you with your bitch, I'm not really gonna try nothing because that don't turn me on. Uh-huh. But like if you fucking with me and then later on you're like, oh, I got this uh 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 got a little wooty wham. I don't wanna say I'm leaving right then and there. Like it depends on what I'm getting from the situation. That's fair. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. like if you if it was really that serious, you would have Well, I gotta me. lose out, basically. Cause if it was really that serious, you would have told me, you know, I got a shot in we ain't yeah. So I'd have been like, you know what? Cool. I'm off you. But you entertain me. And then a month later you're gonna tell me you got a bitch. Okay, you done ate my pussy. We done already went out a few times. Like I got some shit from you in my closet. Are you telling me so that I don't get crazy or is she trying to fight me? Like <laughs> So if you telling me so I don't get crazy, I know my place. Cool. Mm. If she trying to fight me, I'm out. <laughs> I'm not fighting. You're not fighting over dick. You're not. You're not like Cardi. It's like four billion dicks. How many of them dicks do you want? <laughs> just one. I just want a good one. <laughs> but goddamn, like oh, I'm fighting over this one, and it's probably not even the best I could find. And I hate to say that because you know it's always something better somewhere. You got to compromise, whatever. But like, bro, it's not. <laughs> my this is my money maker. So why the fuck I'm fighting you over a nigga that's not really even taking care of me 100%. So I'm glad you said this is your money maker because earlier, you know, you was a lot of cap in your rap. <laughs> what I say? You said you had. You said you was yammed up. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Don't tell them that. They think I'm thick. Hold on. They think I'm thick. I'm sitting down. So sure. Nah, them titties is busting now. Yeah, them t- them t- yeah. I know my strengths. I'm not stupid now. Okay. <laughs> I know. I, yeah. I, I, I like that. I like that. <laughs> What the fuck was I just... What the fuck was I just... Oh. Like cap. Oh, that was the facts of cap. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was it. Yeah. Yeah, the rich nigga on the roster. Yeah. He 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 losing out. But I got a question. Okay. And this is just something I'm I'm trying to work through myself so you can help me out with some some advice. Say you really like somebody, right? Mm-hmm. You really like you really like this motherfucker. Okay. Like for real for real, you like him. You like him. Okay. But you got your roster when do you cut your roster off after you really start liking somebody? You cutting a little too close to home right now. <laughs> oh, you dealing with this? Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> um. Okay, so that's how I put it. Okay, going back to what I was going to say earlier, me and dude in New York got a little situation. Um, I don't want him to eat no other bitch pussy. Don't fuck her raw. He don't want me to deep throw no dick. Don't fuck him raw. So, <laughs> it's only one other person that lives in Atlanta that I would have sex with. And I'm going to do the two things that he don't want me to do with this man. There's one specific man that still lives here. So, so my, my spooky. is. Spooky. <laughs> but the thing is, I ain't fuck with dude that's from here. I ain't fuck with him in like a minute. So, it's just kind of like, if anything, I know I could go back to it. Mm. Type shit. But it's like. Do the New York do everything right? Like I just know it was the forty year old. Yeah, like I have no no room to complain. Like whatever he say, I just kind of do it because it's I don't even want to say like uh, he just do everything right. So I'm like I don't really have room to question nothing he said. So mm. it's kind of like you know what everything that you said you stood on everything that you're saying you can prove back behind it or something like that. So I know you're not gonna lead me astray. So I'm gonna just listen. But it's uh <laughs> it's tempting me. I ain't had dick in like a month. He left like a month. So now, it's like, cool, we have phone sex. Yeah. Where's the real body in front of me? There's, I could drive up the street to Lenox or 12 hours to New York. So it's like, uh. <laughs> so 
like it. So basically, you like dude in New York, but you ain't cut your hoes off yet. No, why would I? He don't want me to. Like, and the thing is, we got to understand he like, I, the thing is, he a cute ass nigga. He pretty. So he gets pretty bitch privilege, just like how I get pretty bitch privilege. So he get it. He not telling me not to go date other niggas, but like, he like, respect, respect the boundaries. Uh-huh. So I'm just, if I know I can't respect them boundaries, I got to decide what I, <laughs> is it worth it? Mm. I don't think it's worth it. To just go fuck, to, to get a nut off and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, I feel like for me, I don't even want to entertain. When I'm, when I fuck with some, when I really like somebody, I'm not even about to entertain no extra shit because I, uh, you annoy me. That's a fact. You annoy me now. That's a fact. I want to go talk to my bitch. Why well, I'm gonna talk to you? That's a fact. Like I be stiff when 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 I'm in in deep like, and I gotta I I'm the type of nigga I gotta like be careful like when I say I like somebody because sometimes I like the idea of somebody or the yeah. idea of a relationship more than I like that person. Like, yeah. what are what, what's your sign? I'm a Leo. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. What is you? Why? What's wrong with Leos? <laughs> Where do you want me to start? <laughs> What's wrong with Leos? Well, the thing is, I, I don't. I'm an Aquarius. I don't fuck with Leos because y'all ego is way too easy to fuck with. And and what you mean? Hold on, wait a minute. Y'all got a big ass ego. If I say if I say anything askew, y'all gonna be like, what, like what you talking about? What you, like now it's beef because you feel like I'm trying you. Like nah, I just said what it was. That is, but I, I'm like that way with like. A so lot of shit. Person I'm I'm talking to, like if she don't match my energy, I'm like, exactly. damn, this bitch hate me. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm like, and I'm the type of person I just be saying I'm so free flowing. It's like I didn't even really think. <laughs> I didn't even think of it like that. But it's so easy to hurt y'all ego that I just know I would do it unintentionally and it's not worth it. You think you hurt my ego? Um, if I really wanted to try, but I don't want to though. Oh, okay, all right. I was, <laughs> I was just making sure. Yeah. But also, going back to what you said earlier, I just, I'm a, a flirtatious person in general, so I don't really, I can't be with no jealous ass nigga. Jealous? Jealous, like, and not even jealous, but like, y'all pride, y'all ego be so big. It's like, bro, I will flirt with literally anybody that walk by. It's not even intentional. I flirt with the fucking wind. I look out the window, sexy as shit sometimes, just because, in case somebody's watching me. <laughs> so a nigga not supposed here. to take that no type of way? No, my the nigga I'm fucking with now, New York nigga, he don't. Cause he know like, bro, that's just you. Like you not gonna act. I'm not acting on nothing. I just you got a nigga who you want to fuck right now. But did I do it? You, not no. yet. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just look no. So so a nigga's wrong for being. Like feeling some way if, if if his girl is flirting with the other nigga, yes. like, like it depends. Know your bitch, like that's what I'm saying. Folks get in situations. I know my bitch better not be flirting with other niggas. Okay, but that but then you need to get a bitch that's stiff on niggas. I'm not a bitch that's stiff on niggas. Like I'm friendly to everybody because a if you step to me crazy, I'm probably gonna get scared. <laughs> so I, I I'm just generally nice to everybody so that I can cover my bases. I know <laughs> I didn't do nothing to fuck with you. <laughs> you know what I mean But then also like It's just fun flirting with people I gotta practice Why do you need to practice Why not If you with a nigga You don't want You don't flirt with your girl Yeah Right my- so what if I'm rusty I come in there talking about some new You sock sexy It's your corny ass so. Exactly <laughs> so like, your If corny- I would've practiced with the bartender When I was trying to get drinks Oh uh, we probably would've had a different situation And then I get a bit And then I get a video sent to my phone Look at your bitch out here no, and then you get a video that then you get that POV, but then I'm already calling you daddy. I'm drunk. I just got four free shots. How that date ready when I'm home? That's the difference. So I'm, I just and I'm, and I'm looking down at my phone like. <laughs> but I'm coming home to you, so what do it matter? This time. This I'm time, and it's also the perception. Now my niggas think my bitch is is she, is she going? But if I'm not going, then what do it matter? What it, what does it matter what your niggas think about your girl? It don't matter what they think about my girl. It matters what they think about me. Like, damn, this nigga just be going for whatever. So you care more about what your friends think than, than your girl actually having a good time? That's what that's what you just that's said. That's not what I said. That's what you just said. That's not what I said. 
Rewind the tape. What I said was, uh, what I said was, no, you can't be out here having. Don't have me look crazy. Yes, that matters. Don't have me look crazy, okay. and it should matter. It matters for women too, because you don't want your your nigga out here making you look crazy. That's a fact, but it depends on what your version of looking crazy is. Like, me, I will literally be on Facetime. I have been on Facetime with this man. I was went inside to Costco, <laughs> to fucking Costco. And I was just flirting with the man while this nigga was sitting on FaceTime with me. Like, and it wasn't even, like, nothing. It was just kind of a cute little, oh, I got a pen. Like, it wasn't nothing. He was on the phone with me, watching me. I wasn't going, I didn't get that man number. I didn't want to fuck him. I was just bored. Like, <laughs> flirt. <laughs> happened. I flirt because you bored. Yeah. You going to be doing that when you married? Probably. That nigga just going to have to be okay. That's crazy. He just going to have to know me. Like, I'm not, I'm not throwing my pussy around. Are you, my pussy's here with you. It's good. She's safe. Me though, I gotta. And if you do, got too many boundaries on me, I'm just gonna do whatever I want. Do you consider? Do you consider getting head chi if you're in a relationship? Oh, if you're in a relationship, yeah. Ooh, depends on your. Everything goes back to what y'all set for each other. Me personally, if you're giving her head, yeah. No, I'm saying if a nigga giving you head. Oh no, that's not she. No, because I mean, if you're not here, how long can that rose last? <laughs> So you recharge it, shit. I don't know. Exactly, but it's not a. It's not a. It's not the same. <laughs> so you just, uh, you just uh, head head collector, head hunter, head honcho. You talking about Quavo? Watch out! But now nah, for real, like I mean, not even. Yes, <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to explain myself. Yes. <laughs> hey, we we here at the Big Homies House believe in living in your truth. You know what I mean. So. My name is uh, Yagis, and I'm a headhunter. Go ahead and say it. I said headhunter. Same thing. You know what I mean? Hi, guys. My name is Yagis, and I am a true headhunter. If you want to, hit me up on my IG. Y'all know the DM. <laughs> I'm about to slide. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Oh, my God. That's crazy, though. Really? You think? Yeah. What's it like? Why, though? Shit, no. Because some nigga, that, that may be all they want. And they happy. They feel like they satisfied. Sorry. Especially if you do a good job. Right. So, I mean, if you're just giving me head and I'm not fucking you, like, what? what's cheating? Who cheated? Nothing. You. No. I didn't che- I didn't do nothing. I laid there and I got fulfillment. I didn't actively do nothing to this man. <laughs> so, did I cheat for real? Yes. Because our you were unfaithful. Because our, no, would you would your nigga be happy with you out getting hair from other he niggas? He said I could get hair because he's not he's not here to give it to me. Mm. So I would rather you. He literally said I would rather you get head because that's reasonable, rather than fuck somebody. Hey, it makes sense. Like you said, that's that's the the guidelines y'all set in y'all relationship. Well, exactly, and that worked for us. But everybody that don't work for, it. and that's the shit that be making me mad. Folks want to be like, oh, that it doesn't make sense for you. Like if I wanted if I wanted a relationship right now, then probably the answer would be different. But mm-hmm. if you don't want a relationship, then why the fuck would that be? Different? So should a nigga like okay? So all right, what if it's not even physical, right? Should a nigga be okay with his girl getting tricked off on by other niggas? Yes. Oh my god! Yeah. If you don't have to spend your bread on me for me to have a good time, literally, like how like if I brought you that plate of food, you didn't have to take me out on a date, you didn't have to spend your money, but now we sitting here enjoying each other's time eating food that we would have ate that you would have had to pay for. But you got another, like, bro, what? If I could get another nigga to buy my flight to New York to see that man, he would not have no problem. He'd be like, bro, shit, I would have bought your ticket, but if you already got somebody to do it, go crazy. Damn. But I feel like that kind of intercepts in between, like, because, you know, most women want a provider, like. Yeah, but I'm saying that he was not not going to buy the ticket. Like, he's going to buy it regardless, right? Mm -hmm. But if another nigga just so happened to, Buy my ticket. Beat him to the punch. You know what I'm saying? He's not gonna be mad. He it, that four hundred dollars, five hundred stayed in his pocket. Yeah. That's how. That's how I think about it. It's like, yeah, okay. Well, I mean, if she fucking in return in exchange for these gifts, mm. that's a different story. But if I just got somebody tricking on me, giving me shit, and you're enjoying the fruits of that labor, you got to keep five hundred dollars. You got to keep a rack. You got to keep your rent money. <laughs> Somebody else got it covered, but I'm still here with you. I don't know, dog. I mean, I don't. I, I could never see myself tricking on a girl that's in a relationship. But I'm at the same time, some <laughs> niggas, I can't even put myself in that. Niggas. I can't even put myself in that situation. Some niggas feel 
like they're in they're in control when they do some shit like that. Like yeah, like yeah, nigga, I paid your bitch rent, broke ass nigga. See, but fuck no, bro. <laughs> fuck no. Cause now this nigga feel like he got a one up. So does he? I don't know. That's so that's what I'm saying. He so, providing for my bitch. So you get to keep money in your pocket for y'all to have a good experience on something else. I worked hard for this money to spend on my bitch. Okay, so <laughs> cut, it, cut it. My thing is, you see me scratching my head. I'm trying to. If I say, okay, can I have five hundred dollars? Go get my hair done. And I say, yes. But instead. Okay, somebody just gave me five hundred dollars. Daddy, I'm about to go get my uh, my fucking hair done. Can we go out to such and such restaurant? Can we go on a trip here? Can I get this instead? So instead of you having to pay for the food, the hair, the everything, it's like, bro, you took some shit off your list. You calling your nigga daddy? <laughs> Damn, that slipped out. Yeah, <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. He act like it though. That's all. About the same age, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my God! You're terrible. Am I? You're an awful person. (laughs) Jesus Christ! All right, so I got another question, right? Okay. So, is someone telling you it's not that deep? Disrespectful. Depends on context a little bit. No, I'm saying like they did some, and you reacted Mm -hmm. to it, and they say it's not that deep. Why you doing? Why you doing so much? Because the, th- the only thing that pissed me off is, like, you can't argue with people's feelings. I hate this shit. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Because I can, I can rationalize my feelings. I can pinpoint, okay, I feel this way because of this. Mm-hmm. A lot of women just feel, and then they want you to understand their feelings. But the only person that could justify that is you. You know what I'm saying? And not even just women, but, like, everybody in general. So it's like, if I feel a kind of way about something you did, a lot of people don't realize their tone. Like when mm-hmm. you speak, you could just be excited. And I'm like, bro, why are you yelling at me? I, tch, fucking relax. Like my bad. Yeah. So it's like, you don't realize that your tone was a certain kind of way, but it made me feel a kind of way. So uh-huh. The only person that could validate that is me. You yeah. can't go to him and fact check. Oh, is that how you felt too? He probably felt different. He's like, nah, that nigga was just excited. So now it's like, everybody feel a kind of way. Don't tell me it's not that deep. Just acknowledge what happened. Yeah. Like, bro, if I said, okay, if you say, oh, that was fucked up, you bitch. Bruh, don't call me a bitch. It's not that deep. Okay. Because <laughs> now we're about to make it that deep. Now we're about to make it that deep. It's like, okay, if I don't want you to call me out of my name, just don't call me out of my name. Mm-hmm. I, it, it's lit already. Don't drag it, though. And that's what people be getting on my nerves. Like, they're trying to drag shit. It's just not that necessary. Mm. <laughs> I feel you. All right, so my next question is, let me look at this shit because I got a bunch of shit written down. Let me look at this shit. Um, do you feel like? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Off rip. Oh my god! I gotta, I gotta find somebody. I can't do that one yet. That's too much. <laughs> That's too much. Why? No, it is. <laughs> um, do you feel? Do, do you feel the need? All right, so say you say you with somebody, right? You okay. you with somebody, y'all y'all doing the whoop de wham and all that bleep de bleep. Yeah. And the next, like, but it was bad. Mm. Do you feel the need to check on somebody? Like, hit them up the next morning, like after bad sex? Fuck no. Why? Well, what kind of? Well, <laughs> it was just you know. Just casual fucking. Yeah. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. But you're not gonna lie. Hit them. Hit them up afterwards. I'm not a teacher. Like, if you, at your big age, you should be able to know how to fuck. And I'm sorry if the person that introduced you to fucking didn't teach you how to do it right. But I'm not going to stay around. I feel like everybody, everybody's body is different. That's a fact. Yeah. I I think I was trained properly. And I always said it. I, in fact, I I think when. Okay. You you got the Juilliard of pussies. (laughs) No. I was professionally trained. (laughs) No, 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 no. Not like that. I'm talking about like the person that took my virginity trained me properly enough to like. I know I knew what good sex was, what sucking dick good was, and I knew how to not attach my feelings to one person. So I think for where I'm at now, it's it saved me a lot as opposed to like if I was in a relationship and I had sex with them. Now I'm in love with this one guy and it's just kind of like it's a whole bunch of emotions that follow that. So when I lost mine, it was to a fuck nigga. So it, it came with fuck nigga rules. 
So I I, <laughs> I was trained properly for that. I was. Mm. Got you. Okay, okay. But I do want to go back to something you was talking about before, and you might feel differently about this. So we were talking earlier about, like, you know, and, you know, flirting with niggas and all, and all that shit, getting attention and all that jazz. Uh, so are you on Twitter? Yeah, but I don't be tweeting as often. Okay, all right. So, you know, sometimes they may have these Twitter threads, or, you know, just like on Instagram. Do yeah. you feel like you need to be posting thirst traps in a relationship? Like specifically the thirst traps where you know they thirst traps. Like you know what I mean? Because the thing is, I'm not. The only time I post myself, and it's not like in the present, is when I currently feel ugly. So I could, so like I could get them little hearts. Like okay, at this, I was what kidding. for real? Like I'm being dead ass serious. Like if I'm not posting myself in the present, and it's like oh okay, or like I'm showing a repost of like an Instagram shit or like some old stories, and it's just like cute hairstyles and shit. Yeah. I want to feel cute. Like, probably my hair not done. I ain't got no lashes. I'm in a big, probably kind of crusty. So, it's like, I just want to see myself at a cuter time. So, if I'm in a relationship and I don't feel like he making me feel cute, like, I don't do that shit no more because that man tell me I'm cute every day. Gotcha. So, like, I don't feel the need to want to do that. I think that if you are doing that, you need to look a little bit past or before it and be like, why the fuck I'm doing this? Do he Uh make me feel pretty? Do You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it, it's something else. Got you. I agree. I agree. Because if you're in a relationship and you're looking for outside validation for niggas and the nigga is telling you every day that you look good, why is his look, uh, you look good, not enough? Exactly. And so it's probably she don't like that man. Ooh. Because if you tell me, like, bro, if a <laughs> my man telling me I look pretty is way different from that nigga at the fucking gas station. Like, I just knew he saw me. He probably wanted to fuck or some shit like that. You like, think all niggas want to fuck? No, I think some some men are just genuinely nice, but I think a lot of women don't know how to just take a compliment for what it is without thinking a nigga want to fuck because mm. they haven't had that interact. Like I've had a lot of interaction with men that didn't want to have sex with me, so I know how to act in in both. And I'm like, I could tell, like especially I'm a, I'm a communication major, so body language and tone and everything is a lot. So like I could tell if you want to fuck me or not, but how I respond to you is what matter. Mm. I think. So it's like, uh, if you don't know how to respond to nigga that they want to fuck you and you don't want to fuck them, you can't just have a regular conversation, then bitch. Develop some communication skills. <laughs> you get your butt ate? Hmm? You get your butt ate? Often. Often? <laughs> Happily. Happily? Like, the stories I got going to make me sound wild, but y'all, I swear. This is that type of program, baby. <laughs> y'all go check out my stories on TikTok, too. No context, Y-A-J-S-S. But yeah, I've definitely had a nigga. I wasn't hide, actually. And I, I go out. Hot kitchen and cocktails. Kitchen, kitchen and cocktails. What? Boy. I used to be over there. Okay. Boy, what? So I had met a nigga. I just go by myself to places. That's some good ass food. Boy, what? Yes. Then they upgraded their hookah too. So now they hookah hitting with the food too. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So I had met a nigga in there and like literally he wanted me to run to the gas station with him to get some rolling papers or something like that. That man ate my ass and fingered me in the fucking car on the way back to high. Like I just, I had just met him. Now it was a while ago. <laughs> it's not me now But yeah Literally off, off the dick <laughs> I did not go home With that man I didn't see him After that I ain't Even touch him Or nothing But then we got back And hot And he still Wanted to play With my booty I'm like sir We're in public <laughs> Like you can clearly See behind me If you trying to, He's like Bro you dragging it No I don't want you To touch my bum bum Anymore <laughs> Like get away from me <laughs> No nigga Swiper <laughs> Swiper no swiping No swiping a bum bum But yeah no Okay, uh, that's in a crazy story. Yeah, I cannot wait. So like <laughs> Atlanta is a wild place. Right. Um, so what is something else you said in the other room that we got to bring back? We got to bring back up for the cameras. Okay. Oh, uh, your thoughts on motherhood and being sexy oh after motherhood? Gosh, bro. Don't let these bitches cancel me, bro. Okay, you can be a sexy mother. I don't think that you can be a sex symbol as a mother. Because to me, a sexy bitch is like Lotto. She young, she fine, she mm-hmm. turn. She ain't got no, like, she just do what she want because she can. I don't think that it's responsible for, like, a mother to be a sex symbol. Like, I just feel like sex symbols are kind of, like, free. Like, free in the way. You can't have no kids just doing whatever the fuck you want. Like, that's not cute. True. And then, like, a whole person came out of you. 
And now you're trying to like still twerk and be sexy for other folks. Like the, the, the women's bodies are beautiful. I got some stretch marks myself, but yours are showing. We love tiger stripes. You baby. know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro. Or like I hate when women are pregnant and like they had a whole stomach out. Now, mind you, I don't have I don't have kids. Oh, you saw the summer kids. walker video too, bro. It's no, that shit was funny. That was funny. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And she actually low key was if it was a different bitch rapping, it might have hit a little bit. But like she's just not a rapper. Nah, <laughs> so, you know she she I mean? just had, she was just having fun. You know what I'm saying? But like I don't like if I'm especially in the winter time, like seeing a pregnant woman with her stomach out bothers me. And it's not, and I don't want to say too much on it because again, I'm not a mother. But like you don't want to protect your child. Like I know you, I know you're cold, so you don't think that something inside of you. I don't know. Mm. I just don't think you could be a sex symbol and a mother. You could be a sexy mother, but not a sex symbol as a mother. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> what? Do okay. So say, say you got um homegirl, right? You got a homegirl. Okay. She in a relationship. Do do. do, do. Uh, or just say you in a relationship and you got a homegirl. Would you be okay with your homegirl giving you a nigga a compliment? Like, uh, like, damn, you look good. You looking good in that suit. Like multiple compliments. Like, mm, like back to back to back to back. Not like, back to back to back, but like compliment skip, compliment skip. But over the course of like an evening, mm, like y'all at like a, him. like y'all at a game night or some shit. <laughs> so you want to fuck my man? Like, I mean, like, oh, you smell so good today. Ooh, doo, doo. I'm I'm sorry I can't I don't even be liking to talk to my my dog girl like <laughs> for real like, I'm for real. be honest for real we yeah. pl- we planned a birthday celebration for this nigga and I was careful to like for a whole month soon as that shit was over I deleted the number like for real yeah I, mm. and mind you it wasn't no extra shit there yeah. at all yeah. but it's like I just don't like I'm yeah, not I'm cool with you yeah. I'm cool with. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's no reason for you to contact her. That's the fact. However, I am not a jealous person. Like, one thing I, I would, if I, knowing her kind of like switches the perspective, but like, if we're out and somebody's flirting with my man and I'm at a distance, I kind of like to see that shit. Because how would you flirt? Like, if you wasn't with me, how you flirting with other bitches? You know what I'm saying? But like, if you're coming home with me, that's yeah, cool. What does she bring? What if he bring her home too? I mean, do I like her? She yeah, you yeah. yeah okay. As long as she leaves, I don't like it when bitches stay. I don't like that. Ain't bitch. no ain't no group cuddling. Oh, what the, get the fuck! <laughs> I barely this nigga had to force me to cuddle with him. <laughs> I just got comfortable with that. So a bitch, yeah, no. Mm. It's gonna be enough for me to. Uh, I feel like your pussy's not that competitive. <laughs> I ain't gonna look. <laughs> Think what you want. <laughs> I ain't clarifying no rumors. But shouldn't me? I, I don't. What the fuck? What, what for? What, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the freak? Yeah, like, hey. What it gotta be competitive for? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. So, like. What else is on your mind and in, in heart? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like honestly, I'm just going by as the days go. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I'm trying to get my shit together, open production studios and shit like that. What's your major? Speech communication, minor uh-huh. in marketing. Okay, oh, your your marketing genius. I would I would like to think I would like to think so. I I don't feel like my how I present myself or like how I conversations like these. Uh-huh. You want to think I'm the way that I am in like how how do I say it? Do you think that I would act like this based off of my Instagram? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Exactly like this? Not exactly. This is a little bit more extreme. <laughs> a little bit more extreme. Okay. Nah, I saw that, that, video, that video you posted a few weeks ago. You're like, you want to fuck me, don't you? The nigga be posting, <laughs> uh, liking it. Like, they be telling you go to sleep. You want to fuck me, don't you? Don't you? Because what the fuck? Nah, that's what the nigga be on. Because why would you DM me? Like, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? We're grown as shit. Just say you want to fuck me. I probably, I probably, nah. I was about to say, I probably would have wanted to too. Nah. What if he say he want to eat your butt? If I'm in the area, like I ain't going out my. What you said? <laughs> About a battery. Oh, you said niggas cop? Saying, yeah. Niggas ain't. That's why niggas not coming. <laughs> say you what? It's real safe. You delete your number. <laughs> <laughs> niggas stay cop. Damn. Right. <laughs> yeah. 
COVID over there. <laughs> Niggas don't want to come. They don't try no bullshit. And just be, let me drop you off where I picked you up from and safely. Nah, nigga, I will. I'm, I will call a uh, Uber for your ass, real <laughs> pick up and drop off. Cause hell nah. How do you feel about a girl asking you for like gas money? Gas money mm-hmm. for what? Like, what are we doing? What's our relationship? Mm-hmm. We just fucking. I mean, whatever you wanted to be, just in general. I mean, if it's my girl, hell yeah, I ain't yeah. tripping over no shit like that. But if a girl, so like my thing is, if you would pay for me to get an Uber to come and see you, why wouldn't you put money in my tank for me to come and see you? Because the money in your tank will be a lot more, and it's it depends on. No, it's not. Well, so well, it depends on what kind of Uber nigga you are. Because if you're an Uber XL nigga, my gas is cheaper than ordering me an Uber. Mm-hmm. But if you were like a regular degular, let me wait for these fares to go down, nigga. Then <laughs> what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that because I'm that kind of bitch. <laughs> but I'm saying if you were going to order me an Uber, why wouldn't you just give me gas money? Ah, uh, because I don't want to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what's the difference though? Do you feel like a trick? Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I, Are you a trick? It, oh. When I'm in love, hell yeah. Oh, when I'm in love, no, that's, nah, that's not the same. When I'm in love, hell yeah. That's Is not it? A trick? Yeah, when I'm in love, hell yeah, I'm a trick. But I feel like women will try you on some trick. Like I've, I've had like after we get done, women be like, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna pay you. I said, I don't know either. You've been spending your last two hours doing the wrong thing. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like she don't know how she getting home. No, she don't know how she about to pay some shit that she got to pay. Oh. Yeah. So how do you? <laughs> what is the best way for a woman to ask you for money? Well, first of all, don't. I guess that answered that first of all question. <laughs> what was the first of all, though? I was going to say, like, what kind of... Well, if you do give money to women... How would I put it? Like, certain niggas that I've learned from, from being a sugar baby or, like, shit like that... Is oh, like you're a professional. No, I'm not a professional. But as a, as a communication major... Shut up. As a communication major... They said Georgia State. I've learned to read, like, people's body language. So, like, I know, you know, if you fuck with me or not, if you're going to do this, this, and this. Uh-huh. By how I, you know. What's my body language now, saying? I'm not even going with that. So, I just think, like, certain men are willing to spend money on certain things. Uh-huh. So, like, some niggas are okay with, like, okay, cool, I got the cash here. Let some me tell you why I'm not okay with it, right? Why? Because, as you know, I'm a Leo, so I got a big-ass ego. Yeah. So, the fact that it would never sit right with me for me to have to pay someone to be around me. That's a fact. Like, I can't. You should You should be happy to be here. Not as a privilege. Yeah, it's a it's, it you is. To somebody? A I, I probably I probably had when I was drunk. Yeah, but it is. You should be happy to be here. You do you not know who I am? I mean, okay, cool, yeah, but like sometimes I want some money. So, but the thing is, okay, but if I'm fucking, but if but if we fucking with each other organically, then yeah, I'm not gonna have a problem with it because I'm gonna yeah. look at you like a friend. Yeah, that that need that needs some money instead of like just somebody who I'm fucking. Yeah, yeah. because if you come off like you're only around me because you need you're in need, yeah, then I'm probably not gonna fuck with you. Or if I do fuck with you, it's gonna be sparingly. Okay, that makes sense. Or like some niggas would rather buy the things for you. So like if he's really into fashion, he would rather get you clothes and stuff. I'm not a good buyer. I'm a giver. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll no. I'll just send you what you what like. Even so you rather send money than get you. even if it's even if it's for a flight. So you really don't. Do you really think that you know these women? Because I think that a testament of being a good gift giver is like how much you know somebody. Yeah, but sometimes I'm if we haven't locked in like that, like I'm I'm a, I'm an overthinker too. So, but I mean, it don't take nothing to see like what some what somebody will want. Like if I gifted you some glasses, you wearing glasses right now. If I got you another pair of black shades. You know, so I'm it's simple. Being observant. Women are a lot more complex I than mean, that. Yes and no, but like you see, I <laughs> I don't know. Like I just feel like, like I don't, I've been around you for the past three hours. I don't know what you would like. <laughs> but you don't care to know. That's what I'm saying. How you know? I mean, I don't know. But it's like, so you're not really good at reading body language, I, huh? <laughs> Kodak. <laughs> I ain't gonna say too much on camera. So I just feel like. Mm. Long story short, what other question you was gonna ask me? I forgot. <laughs> oh, I did. I did have one right. So, do you think 
like uh, uh, I feel like you tell me if I'm wrong. I, I feel like a lot of women like will overlook the negative qualities of somebody who they really interested in, and wait for him, wait mm-hmm. or try to turn him into what they want him to be. But w- but when he doesn't transform into their super nigga, they like, oh well, he was deceiving me. He was the nigga showed you who he was. That's so now point. a lot of times folks will spend years. They'll spend years trying to change somebody or waiting for somebody to change when it was probably a nigga that was ready for you ten years ago. Mm, I just don't think people. Know- I don't think people are self-aware enough to know what they really want out of a relationship. Like we was talking about earlier, a lot of people base their relationship off of social media. Like Mm -hmm. you want to be like fucking waiter and bait. Perfect example. A lot of folks, so the Impact ATL, you know, um, with Dez and Jada Mm -hmm. and Autumn on there. So like Jada from outside looking in, we just knew her as like cute girl from Savannah that did clothes and da 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 when she got on the actual show, it was like, we got to see her for who she is. So, like, mm-hmm. some people fought with it, some people didn't. But it's like, people make a basis, like a snap judgment from, oh, they're cute off of Instagram. They have this cute little personality. They're probably like a cute little person in a relationship. Bro, that girl is probably hell. And I say, I don't know her. I don't know her. But, like, Libra women are hell on a fucking scale. So, like, you don't know what these folks act like. But then it's like, folks aren't realistic with themselves to know, okay, I know that I'm a fairy. Like, when it comes to just shit in general, I just go with the fucking flow, whatever way the wind blows, I'm doing it. Because I fucking felt like it today. But I don't need a nigga that's <laughs> just always going, I don't know, want me to check in and have, like, strict boundaries around me. Like, I know not to date them kind of niggas. I know not to date Leos because I'm going to hurt your ego just being myself. You know, you're not going to hurt my ego. I, that's why I don't date Leos because, or a certain types of men, because, like, I don't want to, have to watch who I am to cover, like, to watch, make sure you're good. Long story short. So, like, nigga I went now, he a big security-looking nigga. Like, anybody that stepped to him, you could probably take him. So, I do whatever I want. I dress however I want. I speak freely, like, because I don't have to worry about what the fuck repercussions. I know I'm good. And that's why I date folks like that that are good in any situation. They always got their head on a swivel, so I could just be the free-form fairy that I am. But for me to actually get with a jealous ass nigga, I'm setting myself up. And domestic violence isn't cool, but I'm not gonna get with a nigga that's that's real territorial, knowing how I am, and then try and step in and be like, "What the fuck is your issue?" And then he mink 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 or something. I'm like, "Bro, I've been knew that you was fucking make it, make it, make it." You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew you was like this, so why the fuck I'm even gonna set myself up for this situation? Yeah. So it, it, folks don't know themselves, and they try and like make some shit up so it look good, but it don't really be good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got a man. You don't like him. <laughs> what the fuck does it matter? Well, some, some for some people that's the goal. Like that's a lot of folks' goals. Like just being in a relationship. And that's sad. <laughs> As fuck. Because your whole self worth is based on who you're with. Yeah. So what else? So now you got this man. Okay. That's your whole personality being his girlfriend. <laughs> So, mm. yeah, it's real life, <laughs> bro. And that shit's sad. It's just like, what the fuck? So people live to be uh, a girlfriend or a wife or whatever. Like that's their whole personality trait. Yo, and and that's the thing that be making me mad. Well, not even mad because whatever you do is up to you. And that's why I don't like when people try and argue like, oh, I would never do this or like when the conversation about black men dating white women and vice versa. I would never date that kind. I would never date that nigga. Literally. What you mean? Like, if white women are your type. Oh, they be trying to convince a motherfucker yeah, to. Like, yeah. Like, if white women are your type, I'm I'm not your cup of tea. We would never get along. There's no reason for me to try and convince you just as a black man to date a black woman. Uh, and uh, even. I'm not. I'm not a fan of it either. Oh, and even black women that date white men, and black men that date. Why white do you women think they date each other? Why do they? Why do they think? That is such like they try to make that their personality too. Like, Bro, and 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 I will tell you off camera why, so I'm not canceled. But I, it's a lot of self, self, self shit that y'all need to get through. Mm. That y'all need to talk out <laughs> before you try and have that conversation. Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Shit, man. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you coming. I don't gave up on saying yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I appreciate. Yeah, you, man. I appreciate you coming in. Kick. You got your own podcast. You want to promote? Do I do? So if you want to hear me talk about all the nasty shit, sucking dick, giving head, fucking with other niggas. What's the nastiest <laughs> shit you ever did? Nastiest? Yeah. Like me personally doing it, or like both? It to me. Uh, well. I usually like to say my limits start with their limits. So it depends on how nasty you want to get um, and how comfortable I am with you just regardless. Uh-huh. So, like, uh, I was like the nastiest shit I ever did. <laughs> Probably throw up on dick, but not even, like, it was intentional. So, but look. Huh? I don't know. Listen. Listen. It was, he was, we was, he, we was in training. So it was kind of like a bro. You need to <laughs> you need to get to that third level, so something got to come up, so I can go down. And so it's kind of like, just let it go. He was like, let it go. I'm like, bro, no. <laughs> he was like, let it go. And I had just ate, and I think it was early in the morning. I think I had like either some chocolate or something like that, or I either just brushed my teeth or I had some chocolate. It was one of the two. But it was like you know something had to come up for him to go down and for me to get to where I needed to go. But it, I, I don't do it. No, <laughs> I don't do it all the time. But he was just like, I was comfortable enough to be like, you know what? Okay, cool. And then right after we cleaned that shit up, we hopped in the shower. Cool. <laughs> and done to you? Um. Fuck. <laughs> I peed on a nigga. But it was in the shower. <laughs> but we, we was in the shower, though. We were in the shower. <laughs> he wanted me to. So You're like, disgusting. Yo, I mean... <laughs> Why would you set me up like that, bro? I thought it was the eating your butt in the car, nigga. No, uh, no, no. That was a real, like, you know, Tuesday story. Anywho, if y'all want to see me talk about most shit like that, <laughs> Local Find Shit, the podcast. You can find us on YouTube and TikTok. If you want to hear me just on TikTok, no context, Y-G-A-S-S. If you want to hear me talk about current events, all the other fun shit, welcome to, or no, 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 The Ville, the V-I-L-L-E podcast. YouTube and TikTok. Amen. Big homie, yeah, yeah. Big homie Kodak. Another episode of the Big Homie's House, and we gone. Yeah. <laughs> Don't start.